previously on Teen Mom 2. I kind of miss Adam. How can you miss somebody that's done all that stuff to you? Oh. <laughs> I'd be around here more and watch her grow up. I want to be able to trust you, but I don't yet. You're not going to get custody. Easy as that. You never want to have child custody go into the courtroom. If Jay went to court now, you're not going to win. I like you and everything you bring to the table. I met somebody at work. His name's Jordan. Would Joe be pissed if he found out? I'm trying to move on. You're trying to move on. How are you moving on? By getting involved in another relationship? No. If you with somebody else, don't feed me that I don't want to hear it. I know we've been fighting a lot, but there's something wrong with Ellie. There are certainly things that aren't working. She probably needs to have an MRI of her entire spine. I think we are fixable. And Ali real needs this. It'll be okay. <laughs> Living in my own house with Megan and Aubrey has been fun. My dad has taken away a lot of stress by paying the rent and bills. While I finish school and Megan looks for a job. You guys keeping this place clean? I cleaned this morning. What are you doing? I'm just standing here watching you pretend like you're a little housewife. I am a house a mom. I've been eating ramen noodles like no other. That's the meal of people who move out. <laughs> Formula is like more than anything that we buy. Oh, you need some cash? Yeah, for groceries. Yeah, my little munchkin's got to eat. Thank you. That should last a while. A while? A while. That left me with three dollars. <laughs> Having my dad's support is great. So I can't let him know that Adam and I have started hanging out again. Daddy's here. Put her on her belly. You're okay. Uh oh. <laughs> it's not funny when she's mad. <laughs> crawl, baby, crawl. You can do it. Here, call to the phone. You can go backwards. She goes backwards. Go forward. This way. <clears throat> Is it no. weird helping me teach her something like crawling? Because you haven't been there for any of like the firsts yet. Do you yeah. like it? Yeah. It's what families do. Mm-hmm. <gasps> so big. Say mama, Aubrey. Uh, We're gonna practice, okay? Here we go. Aubrey, mama. Aubrey, mama. Hey. Focus. Dada. <laughs> mama. <laughs> no. Dada. Get it? I want her to learn mama. <laughs> mama? Not dead. Mama. I didn't teach you that. So why are you saying that? Mama. Ugh. The doctor said we have to wait two months to get an MRI for Allie because she's too young. I'm not sure where my relationship with Corey stands right now. I'm just happy that we get to spend time together. Oh. You're stretched. I mean, what could it be? I don't get it. I don't get how a baby can't put weight on her legs, or I don't like. I don't get what could be wrong. I mean, I ain't gonna stress out over it until we find out if there is anything wrong. Do you feel like there is? I don't know. Do you? I mean, I, I do, but I don't. Cause you watch Aaliyah and she's rolling around, and then Ali's not. I tell myself that it's like nothing, 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 nothing. She looks happy to me. <laughs> she, I mean, she does look like a happy baby. See, I'll always be a happy baby. Cause mommy and daddy make me happy. Yeah, yeah. See? I'm trying to stay positive around Corey, but I'm really worried that something is wrong. My mom let me move back home, but she's still filing for custody of Jace. I want to prove to her that I can be a responsible parent, so I'm trying to get a job. This. I'm doing have anything today. It doesn't mean that tomorrow we won't have something. Yeah. yeah. Like a waste of time. Losing sleep over a simple ride. My name's Janelle. If I'm interested, I'll definitely give you a call, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. 
Finding a job is gonna be really hard. And on top of that, I have to get ready for college and babysit Jace. I get a call to college and tell him to send my stuff. Hi, I just graduated South early. How do I transfer my credits from BCC over to Cape Fear? If you can please call me back, that'd be great. All right, well, they didn't want to answer. Jace, please, hold on. Jace, hold on. Don't. You throw it one more time, I'm not getting it. Okay, that's it, not getting it. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I've got to get this done. Jace, you want me to rock you? Come on, lay down, lay down. With everything I want to do with my life right now, I'm starting to realize my mom might be in a better position to take care of Jace. I'm still living in my ex-boyfriend Joe's basement, but ever since he found out that I've been dating a new guy, I'm worried that I might get kicked out. Can you get me a wipe? Joe? What? Well, I heard wipe? you, I heard you, I heard you. How you gonna live in my house and just be like, start dating some other like, I had feeling about it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You living in my crib, you don't pay f you don't do nothing. Yeah. Like, if it wasn't for her being my baby's mother, she wouldn't even live in here. Nope. You wanna date other guys? Mm. Not while you living in my house, like. Yeah. That is just. Disrespectful. It's just completely disrespectful. And Joe's not the only one who's mad at me. I just think that we should figure stuff out about me dating someone else and everything. Because I know you guys are upset about it. My problem with it is that now is not the time. There are other more important things in your life right now, and that is Isaac. Your education and your career. I told you that from the beginning. You know how bad you look going to hang out with another guy? And the chances of you getting pregnant again from someone else. I would not do that. I'm not going to have sex with anyone else. How do you know that? Because I'm not going to let start myself getting, do that. You're, you're already saying you're in a relationship with this guy. I don't want to be going behind your back or anyone's back or being disrespectful or lying to you guys. I don't want to well, do that. Well, I wish that. you would have thought about that before you blattered it all over Facebook. You want to continue your relationship with this boy? I want to work things out here first. If you're going to continue with this relationship, is this guy that important to you? And maybe start talking to him about moving in with him or moving out and staying somewhere else. You make a choice. It's your life. But don't take my grandson down with you, okay? I don't want to have to choose between dating and having a home for me and Isaac. I'm trying to be responsible because I want to keep custody of Jace. But with everything I'm dealing with right now, I don't know if fighting my mom is the best decision. Would you pinch him? Oh, look no. at you. You're playing with him. Hey, buddy. Am I coming? Let's go. Follow me. Yeah. Come on. Jace, what are you getting into? What are you doing there, lad? Hi. Hi. I want to talk to you about signing temporary custody over. When you kicked me out, I realized I can't take care of Jason on my own yet because I can't even support myself. I am going to start making changes, but I've decided that I'm just going to sign over custody because I'm not going to go through all this court and all this money just to get the final decision from a judge. Well, I think that's a wise decision, Janelle. Don't you feel like some of this pressure is taken no, off No, I you? feel like I have more pressure because I need to get school done. I need to do everything to make it right to where I can get his custody back. Now you have some kind of goal because you know that it's so important to do this so you can be a family with your son. Well, you know, growing up when I was with Daddy, he used to tickle me. He used to bring me places. He used to buy me stuff and then he just completely stopped and just stopped being around. And I mean, it hurts to know that your parent just walks out on you. I know it hurts. 
You know, that's one reason. And I'm definitely not going to be a parent like that. Well, I hope this is like a new beginning. And let's not fight so much anymore. All right. Okay. So we, we got uh, a truce. Come on. Give me a hug. I know you hate to hug your mother. <laughs> right? <laughs> I want to finish my high school classes before the summer is over so I can start beauty school in the fall. But living alone with Megan and Aubrey can be a bit distracting. What's Aubrey doing? And after hanging out with Adam the other day, I can't stop thinking about him. Hi. Hi. So, you know, when Adam came here, he texted me afterwards and he like wants to get back together, I think. I don't know what to do. I mean, like he says he's changed and but I don't know, how can someone change? Yeah, because you can say anything. Part of me thinks I shouldn't even like take Adam back or even talk to him. But then the other part of me is like, you should go back and try it one more time. Yeah. Because if he changed, I think it'd be best. I just don't get how like a week ago, you're like him and now you're like, I love him. Oh, well wait, first I didn't say I love him. But you did say. I'm thinking about it, but if he is mean, or calls me something, or definitely anything about her one more time, no, mm -hmm. I'm done. I just want a mom and dad for her. Mm -hmm. I just want it to work so bad. I suppose you better check your oil. It's like your half court law. So, what's up with you and Chelsea? I'm trying to work things out, I'm trying to do my best to get back with her. Just want to be family and settle down. Pretty much done with the old days. around and partying and get faced every night. But even when I was with other girls, I'd always think about Aubrey and Chelsea. I mean, anything I did, any song I listened to, just reminded me of them. Really better this time around? Yeah. I care about Chelsea a lot. I want to be with her. I love her a lot. But my main concern is Aubrey right now, having a father in her life. And mm -hmm. that's me. I don't want some other guy taking over my part. Yep. It's just not right. It's and your Aub kid. Yeah, Aubrey deserves to have a father there. It's time to grow up and quit being a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to be strong in front of Corey and the girls, but I'm really worried about Allie. What did you think about Allie whenever you saw her? Well, you ain't been wanting to talk about it, but we realize that Allie's not progressing the way Aaliyah is. And that's I know, but you just can't, you can't compare them because they're two different babies. That's true, but she should at least be on a level her age and she's not. I know that there's something wrong, but you don't I don't want to accept it. I don't want to accept it. And then I think, was it my fault? No. I mean, was I not big enough for her? I mean, I think about that all the time because she was squished. Try not to think like that. I just want to fix it. Like, I want to make her better. The biggest fear is that she might not ever be able to walk. I wanted her to be able to do the things she wanted to do, whether it was cheering or softball. And that scares me because I'm afraid what if she can't? Here's a tissue, baby. No matter what is going on, we will get through this. I know I have to be strong, but I'm just really scared. Should we change your diaper? Because I started dating Jordan, I'm really worried Joe's family is going to ask me to move out. But I can't let the drama distract me, because today, I have college orientation. Hello. Hi, Megan. Hey, what's up? I was just calling because I'm supposed to go to my college orientation and Kim was supposed to take me, but now she can't. So is there any way that you can take me? No, my dad's like company picnic and he already rsvp for me. All right. Jordan can't take me, my mom's working, and Joe's out of the question. So I have to ask Joe's brother, Junior. Can you take me to college orientation? Hey, what's up? 12. Yeah, I guess we can do that. All right. See you later. All right. Hello. Hi. 
Do you have anybody with you today? My son. She's the little son there. Yeah. Okay. So you don't need the parent agenda. I guess you're the parent and the student. Huh? <laughs> this is your student agenda then for the day. It starts in the theater. We'll Thank the you. Day. Welcome. Today is a very important and special day for each of you. Do you mind if I sit here? What is this for? It's for uh, the orientation. <laughs> Our first priority yeah. is you. Don't get fussy. No, 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 no. None of that. We have small class size time uh, that will allow you to know and interact with your professors. Welcome and enjoy your day with us. Thank you. Being here is making me realize how hard it's going to be to have a job, be a college student, and raise Isaac. Change your diaper. This is gross. All done. taking your picture today, you can take that down to the second floor, and then if you came with anybody else today, you can meet them down on the second floor also. I'm by myself. <laughs> okay, no problem. Thank you, though. You're one, two, three. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You want mom to go to college? Kiss. Bye. After realizing I wasn't prepared for a legal battle, I agreed to sign over custody of Jace to my mom. So today, we're taking him to daycare and heading to the courthouse. Well, I'm not gonna get this over with. I'm glad that you, you know, agreed to sign. This is the grown-up thing to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just have to see Barbara. Do you right. not want you to sit over there? Okay. All right, Janelle, have you read through the agreement? Mm -hmm. You're agreeing to give your mom temporary custody of your child. Mm -hmm. Now, there's not a deadline on it. It can last a day. It can last until the child's 18 years old. Mm -hmm. One of the parties would have to bring it back to court for a yeah. permanent custody hearing to decide whether or not on a permanent basis where it would be. All right, <clears throat> so this is the consent order, Janelle, and I'm going to first have your mom sign it. I need you to sign right here above your name. Okay. Okay. Janelle? Right here, I have your name for you to sign it. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a judge to sign it. Okay. And then I'm going to make you all copies, and then you guys will be done here today. Okay? okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Well, that was so much easier than going through that whole court drama. Yeah. I'm glad we're not going to court, but I hope I'm making the right decision. With everything that's been going on, I really need a night out to get my mind off of Valley. So I asked Corey to meet me while his stepmom watches yeah. the girls. So, how's everything? Uh, that's good. You look cute. So do you. You go first. I'm gonna smoke your ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I'm letting you win. <laughs> <laughs> oh no way. Uh, oh shit. So have you missed me? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Not like a whole bunch? A little bit. Cheater? I didn't do that shit to you. <laughs> I'm gonna get a spare. I believe in you. Just like I believe in us. Oh, yeah. I told you. No. Well. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's over. I won. You lost. Thanks for coming. Well, I had fun. Yeah, me too. You did? Yeah. What do you think about taking it to the next level? I think, I think it's worth a shot. Really? Mm-hmm. Of course. <laughs> All right. 
Does that mean that you call me your girlfriend and I call you my boyfriend? Yeah. Alright. Since Adam and I have been spending more time together, my feelings for him are starting to come back strong. Oh, that's so nice. It seems like she's happier when we're like together. She is, look at her. I know. Do you want to try for us again? Yeah, cause it's time to be a family. I'm ready to settle down with you and her. You're not gonna get mad when there's a party and you can't go? No. You won't? No. Like tonight, for instance. Well, you wanted to. Well, yeah, I want to, but I can't. And I ain't gonna sit here and ball about it like a five-year-old. Yeah. Okay, good. That's what I want. I want you to be okay with that. I am. I just want, like, her and me to be your first priority. You guys are. Those old days were bad. They were very bad. I don't want that anymore. I don't want to worry. I don't want to worry about cheating or anything like that. Me either. I and know, Adam. Um, this is our new hangout. This is our new life. Call of Duty. And bottles. I'm down with that. You're down with that? Dog. <laughs> oh my god. Only if she wants you. Yeah. Exactly. I think things with Adam might actually work out this time. But until I'm 100% sure, I'm not telling anyone. Especially my dad. I was really starting to like Jordan. Are you gonna kiss me or no? I was willing to. <laughs> but after my talk with Janet and Eddie, I'm realizing I might have to sacrifice my new relationship if Isaac and I want a place to live. Daddy's being mean to mommy. So is grandma and grandpa. I'm afraid to even ask how that's all going. I'm just so confused about everything when I'm torn. There just seems like a lot of tension because apparently I make decisions at the wrong times. You didn't plan on it though. Exactly. You weren't like, I'm gonna go out and find a boyfriend tomorrow, and you did. Are you still gonna like stay with Jordan or what? No. And either way, I put Isaac first, but. Obviously, but if that's what you need to do to stay at Joe's house, then it's kind of what you have to. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if you wanna be with Jordan one day, then you can still do that, but you just have to figure stuff out. Make sure you have a place to be first. Yeah, Isaac's my number one priority right now. I'm really happy me and Corey are getting back together, but I'm nervous about telling my friends because it wasn't so long ago that he was dating other people. So Corey and I are getting back together, like, for real. Like, serious this time. So yeah, I was like, boyfriend and girlfriend? Yeah. Does that make you mad? I mean, I think he kind of, like, acted like there for a while. If he did care, then, you know, he wouldn't have been with other girls and stuff. Yeah, like when we like, come to my graduation. Yeah. I mean, it hurt to walk across stage and been like, I would have loved to have had Corey and the girls down there. Mm-hmm. You know. But that was the past, and I'm letting it go. It, I mean, I don't think it's going to be easy. We're, we're going to have hard times. But we have to learn to deal with our fights and not one of us walk out. But I love him and that's all that matters. And I love my family. And I want us all together. I feel like I made the right decision for Jace. Put the whole jar in there. The whole jar? He's hungry. But I'm still coming to terms with signing over custody to my mom. So what made you want to sign it and just go ahead and give her custody? Because I want to get my life together. I want, like, by, you know, starting college, getting my career going, you know. I want to find a job to work during the day. Like, how is it going to switch back and you get custody? Like, how does that happen? Well, I can fight for it at any time. I just need to go up to the court and tell them I want to fight for it. What if she kicks you out again and then she has custody? As long as I have my head on straight, I don't think she'll kick me out. She set all these rules. I've been following all the rules. We haven't been arguing as much. And now that I signed the papers over, I mean, I'm gonna have to do what I have to do to stay in this house. 
I know I have to follow my mom's rules now, but I'm still Jace's mom, and I want to have a part in raising him. I'm leaving in a minute, Janelle. Now, he needs Tylenol between two and three, okay? I think he's running a little fever. Maltrin, okay. Tylenol. Oh, Tylenol? Because we have no more Maltrin. Oh, same difference. Not the same difference. All right, it's right here. What time? Two to three. Oh, God. How about the car seat? You know what? Leave the car seat here. Because then Jason could probably take me and me and Jace up to food line. You cannot go alone with the baby. That's not alone. That's what Jason. No. I have papers I'm under custody. And if you're going to pull that, you have pulled I'm going to take him. Whatever, right? Mom. Bye. Good riddance. Leave. Don't come back. Signing the custody papers seemed like the right thing to do. But it's not going to be easy dealing with my mom. I'm so happy Corey's finally willing to give our relationship another shot. I just want to make sure he's ready to put the past behind us. What changed your mind? What made you just want to be with me all of a sudden? I mean, I was fighting feelings for you the whole time we, since we just broke up. And then like, the main thing was Allie's doctor's appointment, and you came here and told me that stuff. And then I was like, this is serious. They need us more than anything. Yeah. After that, I just started falling back in love with you, which I never really felt out of love with you. I was just hiding my feelings for you. I really didn't think that you would ever get like this again because you cared, but you didn't care. You would pull me in and then shut me down. You were supposed to go to my graduation and you didn't show up. I told you it would have meant a lot to me. Sorry. Before, I didn't trust you. That's why I didn't come back to you. I do trust you now. After five months of making you wait and prove to me. What about me? Do you trust me? I mean, it's going to take a little bit. Why? Because not two weeks ago, what did you do? I was with a girl. I mean, that didn't make me feel good at all. I'm ready to commit to you, and you, and only you, from this day forward. I am too. We're going to be together now. No fighting. I've made my mistakes, you've made your mistakes, and we just need to let it go. And not ever talk about it ever again. Okay. Happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Because I love you. I love you too. I'm really happy Corey and I can put the past behind us. And now we can work together to take care of our girls. Hello? Hi, are you here to get the hoopty? Yeah. My mom's been feeling guilty about not coming to my orientation, so she's giving me her old car so I can get around. There's the keys to your car. You own it, free and clear. Thanks. Good luck. It's nice of her, but it's hard to be happy when I know I have to end things with Jordan. Uh, Hi, Jordan. Uh, how are you? I'm calling because as long as I'm living under Joe's family's roof, I promised I wouldn't date anyone else. So I don't think we can be together. I see. Sorry. It's understandable. I feel really bad, but I'll see you at work then. Yep. See you at work. Bye. Bye. I'm glad Jordan is taking this okay, but I'm pretty bummed. At least my friends are around to cheer me up. Hey. Hello. How's life? Me and Jordan broke up. What? Why? Shannon and Eddie made such a big deal about it, so we broke up. I understand where they're coming from as far as like me bringing Isaac around another guy, but yeah. I just don't understand how it's their business if I date someone else and don't bring him around the house. Like, how does that concern them? Look, look. Because they're looking out for their son. Even though Joe says he doesn't want to be with you, they're still looking Joe's out. Joe's been telling him, me so. for so long he didn't want to be with me, so I finally get that through my head and I start dating someone else, and now it's a problem. How would you feel if he was with someone else, like another girl? Like, are you okay with that? At this point, I almost wish that he would try to find somebody else so that I don't feel guilty for not wanting to be with him. I just wish I could support myself and be away from like Joe and his family just because I know that's what's like the only way it's going to solve most of the problems. But at the same time, they're like the only family that's actually been there for me. 
I know Joe's family has done a lot for me. I just wish I had the freedom to make my own decisions. It's 4th of July weekend, but before the fun starts, I have to meet with the admissions officer at the beauty school I want to go to. And Megan's coming along for moral support. If things are going to work out with Adam, I need to trust him. So as a test, I'm leaving him alone with Aubrey for the day. Okay, I gotta go. Mommy's gotta go. You're gonna stay here with Daddy. She's like, about damn time. You have to watch her. Yeah. Where's the Xbox channel? Yeah. And you have to give her like food like, to feed her and change her diaper. <sighs> Adam, what are you doing? Fuck the internet. I gotta go, I gotta go. Watch her good. Bye. Talk me. All right, I'm gonna set everything out for her, him to feed her and I guarantee you it's still there when we come back. I'm like actually concerned. Like he doesn't watch our good. Um. All right, the first thing that we want to know is what do you really want to get out of this? I want to work in a salon that has all the like hair, nails, everything, and I feel like that's the best way to make a career is with having everything. Everything, absolutely. So as far as the requirements go, we do need your high school transcript. Mm -hmm. Are you able to give me that today or? Not yet. How long do you think that's gonna take for you to finish that up? I'm going to say around a month. Okay. That's what I'm shooting for right okay. now. Okay. We're getting really close to the mm -hmm. deadline as far as that September class mm -hmm. goes. I will have to have those things mm -hmm. within a month. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One month from today. Okay. Okay. With everything that's been going on, I've been falling behind in my schoolwork. I've really got to focus if I want to graduate in time to start beauty school in the fall. All my job searching and interviews finally paid off. Bye bye, Jace. And I landed a waitressing job at a local pub. Even though it's the 4th of July, it feels great to finally be working. There you go. You guys have a good night. You guys need anything else? Okay, well you guys have a good night. All right, Chris, I'm leaving. The best thing about having a job is being able to buy stuff for Jace and myself. There she is, the missing mother. How much did you buy? I'll, I'll show you in a second. What did she buy? She went and bought more stuff for herself. Unbelievable. Janelle, you bought more for yourself than you bought for the baby. Really? The reason why I got that skirt is because these were the only shorts I have. What skirt? I didn't show you, it was only $3. Janelle, you gotta stop spending so much money. And what $1. else did you buy? And you just bought a whole bunch of stuff No, yourself. I only bought two things, and I bought this. Oh, that's cute. You should wear dresses, you look cute in dresses. Oh, Ooh, I might wear that tonight, actually. Why, where are you going now? I wanna go to the fireworks. Hey, baby. Look, he can slide down by himself. I want to take him to the fireworks. Well, you can't take him this year. No. And you are not allowed to take him out alone. So that's how it is. It seems like no matter what I do, nothing is good enough for my mom. And now she's trying to keep me away from Jace. It's 4th of July, and me, Corey, and the girls are celebrating being a family again. Look at her, looking at okay. her, Mom. You like to see them both on their side. Teamwork. We gotta have teamwork with two. It's a lot easier with two of us, don't it? We're headed to Corey's uncle's house for a cookout. I actually think this is our first holiday actually getting to spend all together. <coughs> the last 4th of July was fun. Yeah, I know. Isn't it exciting? Yes, ma'am. I'm starving. Look what we got. Oh, hi. Hi, baby girls. Is she happy to see you? Yes. You want to go get something to eat? Yeah. Come, Papa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was nice. Come on. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Bless her. Pookie, pookie, boo. I missed you. I missed you bad. You and Sissy. Yes, I did. Who's coming? Who is that? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing later? Fireworks. Fireworks. 
Do you guys want to watch the girls? Of course. We, we would always like to watch the girls. <laughs> I'm just glad we could all be here at the yeah. same time. Last year you weren't here. Yeah. It all worked out eventually. Same. It's just a whole lot better doing it this way. So pretty. I got a surprise for you. What? So what? <laughs> What is this? We're gonna get that boat right there. We're gonna. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> the little surprise is like it's like a new start, I think. Like a fresh start? It's like a fresh start to a fresh new life of me, you, and the girls. New beginning? Yeah. I'm very happy. Me too. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do for school, but right now my immediate concern is how Adam did with Aubrey. Yeah, I'm ready to get home to Aubrey and Adam. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Wouldn't you crap your pants if we got there and the house was spotless and he has like an apron on yeah, and he's cooking food? He's like food. cooking dinner for yeah. us. I guarantee you that baby food I set out is still sitting there. Ten I don't want to make a butt. I don't want to make a Because you know. I know. <laughs> oh my God. Shut up. I'm going to cry. Chelsea. I'm going to cry. Is this really happening? I think it's like you. I'm like going to cry. Did you have fun with the guys? I was like, I myself if Adam fed her that baby food. Yeah, I was like, I would be happy just if he fed her the baby food, because I set it out for you, you know? Right outside. Yeah. I gave her a bottle, and she slept. Did you change her diaper? Like eight Why times. Did she poop? This is everywhere. After all that we've been through, it seems like Adam, Aubrey, and I might actually have a shot at being a real family. It's 4th of July, baby. You can see up a little, little late. <laughs> is this going to blow up or anything? No. That's pretty. Yay. Tonight's the 4th of July, and I plan to watch fireworks with Jordan. But now that we've broken up, I'm stuck hanging out at Joe's house, where I'm not even wanted. This couldn't get any more depressing. So what are your friends doing? Meg invited me to a party tonight, but obviously I can't go because I don't have a sitter, and I don't even know what everyone else is doing. But it's cool because you're here. <laughs> oh well. Next year will be more fun. Let's go right. find Let's go fireworks. Right, they're right here. That's amazing. It makes me mad that my mom can't let me bring Jace. I mean, I'll say it was a big problem. I can't make that decision no more, which makes me so mad. I didn't flip out about it, though. I just brushed it off my shoulders. I was like, whatever. Yeah. That's OK. How come that baby can come? That baby's smaller than Jace. Do you think it's because of the custody deal, or do you think it's just because it's your mom being your mom? I think it's just my mom being my mom, actually, because even before that, she didn't want me taking places. Right. I don't know. I think you guys really should sit down and talk about the whole taking Jay's places and things. Yeah. Just so you can lay it out there on the table. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here they go. Yeah.
on the next Teen Mom 2. I think that we should move back in together. Like me, you, Allie, and Leah. I'm excited. I just think it's very quick. It's kind of hard to take it slow when you have two kids. Do you think I could borrow some money for school? I think I could do that. I just want to have my family back together. Well, I still love you. Adam asked me if he can move in. That's going to be bad. What are you going to tell your dad? I'm not telling me. Do you mind dating me even though I have a child? Look at all the hickeys all the neck.